insulation's down for the subfloor. So I've got uh, one, uh, one piece here ready to nail down. The other piece is just over on the lawn. So in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to uh, screw the subfloor down and that part will be complete finito. A little update since the uh, last video. We've done uh, a bunch of wiring right now. So we've got uh, DC. We're going to have a, a light uh, right up uh, about there. We've got a fan roughed in right here uh, that opens up. And what we're going to have back here in the corner is just a little um, charging station for, you know, cigarette plugs that you can put, uh, um, you know, phones or iPads or whatever. And then I've also got this, um, it's just a small 200 watt inverter. It just plugs into the uh, same kind of lighter uh, socket and it's got uh, two outlets on it. So I was going to wire a box and then I, I forgot that this actually had the outlet. So... For the amount of electricity off-grid we'll be using, uh, this will be fine. And it's typically, I don't know if you're going to use a computer, but you can, you know, just a little more flexibility. Because uh, the whole design point here is to be running uh, DC uh, off the grid. Um, so we're gonna, we couldn't insulate the walls until the wiring was done. So it's pretty much uh, just got to hook the, um, the actual different uh, lights and fans and stuff up. So that window is just kind of sitting in there, but we've also wired for, uh, we'll have uh, in the bottom left and uh, top left and right, uh, we'll have marker, red marker lights on the outside and same thing up in the corners, uh, we'll have the yellow one and the yellow one on each side. And the other thing we've done is just kind of cut the back walls out. So uh, that'll be the door entrance, we've got to make the door. Uh, it's half decent size, but the whole um, design point, we didn't want the, the the doors on the side. You see a lot of teardrops where the door comes into the side, but we just thought, you know, we're going out to, you know, the desert, different places, mountain biking, you get sandy, dirty, and you climb right into the into your bed all covered in dirt. So that's why we're coming in from the back. We'll have probably about a foot and a half, two feet before the bed. So we'll just make some cubby holes, a couple of cupboards on either side here. So you're gonna stick your shoes and kind of get the sand off before uh, before you hit the bed, and uh, these here are just they're just they're just say put those in there just to show what it's look what it's gonna look like because oops yep <laughs> because we got to get the bed in there because it's queen size bed so it'll be the last thing we do and the wiring I did up through the tube so it was all pretty much. Um, out of the weather and then what I did here just temporary is I just took the battery up there that'll be a box uh, but you'll see I just put the right down through the I drilled the hole in the frame and ran it down the tubes again just keep it out of the weather so I think we're almost ready for putting the aluminum skin on uh, over here you'll see I've got uh, we're gonna paint it um, with red trim just to give a little bit of uh, a little bit of pizzazz and that's where we're at here we've had some progress since the last video what we've done is uh, we've got the aluminum on both sides we've got the uh, trim i'm just putting the uh, screws in now we've got the uh, marker lights uh, hung they're not obviously they need to be screwed in and i gotta hook them up gotta make them straight uh, the windows need to be cut out uh, the inside is you know, all wired, I think that was in the last video, ready to go. <clears throat> but we've got uh, the second skin on as well, so I just need to you know, get the, the screws along the bottom to keep it tight. And today I have to put a big push on today. It's, uh, what is it, it's Sunday on Thanksgiving weekend in uh, Canada here, I think it's October 9th on uh, Sunday, and we are leaving on Friday. So I've got to get cooking today and uh, show lots of progress. All right, looking good. Well, when you're under the time gun to build something and you wake up on the final day off that you have before you leave and it's pouring rain, you kind of go, oh crap. But it's about, oh, I don't know, it's like 9, 9.30 now. The sun's cleared up and it's beautiful. It's Thanksgiving Monday up here in Canada. So I've got today off, got family coming over later, so I've got uh, only limited time. But here's a quick update since uh, yesterday. So got lots of trim on and uh, all the running lights. We've got the, the hole cut and the 
window in it isn't screwed or bolted in. Got the um, roof on and the, uh, the fan slash kind of vent. Um, what we did along here, it's, uh, it's all siliconed underneath, top and bottom. Pretty nice tight fit. Um, we got it along the top, same thing. There's a couple of spots here at the corner aren't as clean as I'd like, but that's just a little silicone and, you know, first time you learn, right? So uh, this is where, where we're at. Pretty happy with the way it's looking. The inside's gonna go up today and wire everything. Uh, now, I just cut this. And I'll tell you, I, I, I wrestled with, what do I use? Because I don't have one of those cutout tools or anything. And uh, I'd done some of the previous stuff just with a set of manual tin snips. But I was in uh, Canadian Tire and last week and I saw this thing. And it's uh, basically, it's like an electric pair of scissors, the way I describe it for metal. And this thing was absolutely amazing. Um, it just like zoomed right through that straight line. Now on the corners, I did use uh, manual uh, snips still. And uh, the other thing we did was just up on the roof. We got to clean it up a bit, um, finish some, some caulking, but the seam goes right up the center and we've got a piece of uh, trim holding it down, everything. Again, three beads of silicone, one under the overlap of the aluminum, the, the two sheets of aluminum overlap by about four inches. So I put a bead under the overlap, a bead where the overlap, and then two beads up uh, underneath the uh, red thing. So there was silicone oozing out. Actually, I put too much on, but uh, better too much than not enough. So that's where we're at. Well, time to pack it in. I just finished cleaning up. Give it one last video. So today was pretty good. We've got the uh, inside walls all up. Got the windows mounted. We have to trim around it. Um, this is a lot of rattiness that when I was cutting, uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe I saw it was dull or whatever, but uh, that'll all be covered up with trim, so I'm not too worried about it. And uh, got all the wiring done. Fan's already hooked up, it works great. We got a light up there. And uh, back here, we've got a little, um, just a mini little LED. You just, you just touch it and it goes on and off. And the other one's a much bigger one. Um, the big thing we were debating over how to mount the windows. and. It, we got these used, so it turns out most, most RV windows have, I guess, a, an inside uh, plate, I'll call it for lack of a better term, that you screw together, but we didn't have that. So what we did, we just did two two on the top, one at each end, and two on the bottom. And we actually did, um, they're bolts, uh, but with a round kind of screwdriver type head. And uh, But I didn't want to just put screwdrivers in, not that somebody's going to unscrew your window and jump in, they could probably smash it quicker, but... I don't know, I just thought it was a little sturdier, and uh, so we did it. worked out super, super easy, and we put some um, weather stripping and some lots of caulking, and the uh, running lights are all, all on now, hooked up, so all we need to do, uh, we got some trim, hooking up a light or two, that's super simple, um, is we're going to put another coat of paint on, we didn't think we'd have to. Uh, but we are, and then we've got, uh, we're going to do similar to the outside, we're going to try to see with the sun, we've got red trim to accent the cream color, so hopefully that'll look kind of cool and funky, and well, then obviously the back wall, and uh, the lights, the lights are ready to go, they're all wired, so they'll be super simple, just kind of two screws, a couple of bolts, and uh, you know, the wires, but the wires are all um, ready to go here, tied into all the running lights, these are the actual uh, main lights that come in. And this here is a spotlight I'm going to put on the back, which isn't actually an AC spotlight. Everything else is DC. And uh, that's it.